Uh, we are finding some rain, but depending on where you are, it is really what that's all about because some counties are dry, some are getting soaked this morning. Here in Lexington, we're some of the recipients of that precipitation. It's overcast and yeah, you've got hit or miss showers out there, but you've also got a nice line of showers now extending from around Owenton, uh, running down through Frankfurt, Bardstown as you get all the way down towards uh, Horse Cave there along I-65. That whole batch will push east. Notice our southeastern counties are largely high and dry, but a lot of the rain has been along and north of I-64 this morning. And as the uh, map goes into motion, you'll be able to see those showers on the move there. So. Yeah, we've got a little bit of active weather to deal with this morning. There's a cold front following the warm front that went through yesterday in that slight risk for severe storms still up to our northern counties uh, later on today. It just barely grazes up around Maysville and uh, far northern counties up uh, near Cincinnati. We have a marginal risk here tomorrow. The slight risk extends back to the west. There's another round coming in tomorrow evening. Uh, so along that line, you could see some strong to severe storms, and most of that I think will be out to our west. So our rain chance this morning is exactly that. This morning, by later on this afternoon, it tapers off quite a bit in Lexington, and uh, we'll have some drier air cutting in. So that chance that last week was looking like could be strong to severe storms into the afternoon has just been diminishing day by day, and it's more of an issue, I think, for folks up over Ohio as opposed to here. But as the front comes through, it's going to be awfully windy and can't rule out a few showers and storms into the afternoon. But I think it should be fairly quiet as far as storms go in general beyond what we're dealing with this morning. Tomorrow evening, a different story. Warm front, cold front combo. And look at this line, this solid line, potential squall line of storms out west. As it races east, it's probably going to be running out of steam. But by late tomorrow evening, after a sunny Thursday, We'll have a round of heavy rain, gusty wind, and you'll know when that wave comes through. Rapidly pa uh, passing southeast and then diminishing by Friday morning, and then high pressure builds in, and then the chill starts to build. Every day we'll get a little cooler going into the weekend. We're in the mid-60s now. Dew points are generally in the 50s. It's a little uh, muggier back to the west. But you can see the above normal temperature that we've become so used to. Well, that's replaced by a below normal spring cold snap. Early next week is where it bottoms out around uh, Sunday, Monday, and then uh, could linger later in the week before we finally start to warm things back up again. So we'll have to watch out for that. Other thing you need to watch out for this afternoon, although it's not doing a whole lot this morning, the sustained wind 10, 15 miles per hour. We've had gusts up to an over 20. Uh, by late this morning into the afternoon, those gusts could be between 30 to 40 miles per hour. So the wind's going to be cranking. We've got rain to start the day off. Kind of an active day today, even with highs in the upper 70s. Uh, still going to be on the mostly cloudy side to partly sunny side by later on today. And then tonight, things clear out and calm down, mid-50s. Tomorrow, pretty good day through most of it. Sunshine. If you got to get that grass cut before the next round of rain comes in, you'll probably have an opportunity to do that. But by late Thursday evening, showers, some thunder showers likely. Some of those could be on the strong side. Those will diminish probably Friday morning. And then the rest of the weekend, we just get chillier and chillier. Highs go from the 70s to 60s to 50s over that three day span, Friday through Sunday. And we'll bottom out in the 50s. Could see overnight lows in the upper 30s, so some potential patchy frost a couple of mornings early next week.